Thank you so much, Dave. And if I could ask everyone, please give a great round of applause to Dave. <laughs> Dave Zarin's been an amazing supporter of this event over many years. Thank you, Dave. All right, students, coaches, parents, alumni, and volunteers, it's our pleasure to welcome you to the final rounds of the 2017 US Department of Energy National Science Bowl. Today, we're going to begin with the final rounds of the middle school competition. Um, without any further ado, I'd like to invite our top two teams to the stage first. Uh, our team A for these rounds with one loss so far in double elimination, that's Joaquin Miller Middle School from San Jose, California. So Joaquin Miller Middle School are the champions of the Southwest Bay Area Middle School Regional Science Bowl, and they are coached by Ray Huang and Vibo Walia. So let's give a great round of applause to the coaches. All right, second are Team B for these rounds, and they're coming in with no loss yet in double elimination. That's Odell Middle School from Bellevue, Washington. So Odell are the champions of the Bonneville Power Administration Middle School Regional Science Bowl, and they are coached by Rena Chowdhury. Congratulations, Rena. Now, later, our high school rounds will be an all East Coast affair, and as you may have noticed, here in middle school, we have an all West Coast matchup. So, good job, California and Washington State. Now, not only are both our teams from the West Coast, but back on Saturday, they started in the very same division, which means two things. First, they've already faced each other this weekend, and second, when your top two teams in the country start in the same division, you have to feel sorry for the four, team, uh, four other teams in the division. So, so Bonham, Witherspoon, Lux, and Basis Chandler Middle Schools, good job. Congratulations for competing. <laughs> All right, now before we meet our competitors, uh, we'll introduce the judges um, that are arranged here. So my name is Phelan McGowan. I'm gonna be your moderator for this round. That means I'll be asking you the questions and calling correct and incorrect. Um, I trained uh, at University College Dublin, at Johns Hopkins University and the University of Virginia. And now I'm an associate professor of biomedical engineering at the Institute for Computational Medicine at Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore, Maryland. And I'll let the rest of the judges introduce themselves. Good morning, my name is Adam Matthews. I'm a Science Bowl alum. I competed in the high school competition in 95-97. I did my undergrad in biochemistry. I did a PhD in immunology. I'm currently a professor of biology at Wolsey College. I'll be the science judge and I'll be recognizing you. Uh, my name is Dean Jens. I competed in National High School Science Bowl in 1992 and 93. I have degrees in math and physics from the University of Chicago and Princeton. Uh, I'm now a graduate student at, uh, in economics. I'm Deb Samuelson from the Ames Laboratory and also the Iowa Regional Coordinator. My name is Jora Jacoby. I competed in 98 and 99 myself. Um, I have my Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering and I now work as an embedded software engineer on wearable devices. Good morning, my name is Amanda Horn. I am your scorekeeper. I received my undergraduate degrees in education and biology with my master's in STEM education and I am the Regional Coordinator for the Long Island uh, region back in New York. And we will have two additional rules judges on the stage, and they will be uh, Kane Jetty, who has a, uh, who's an alum, Bachelor of Science in Computer Science and Engineering from MIT, and who's currently working as a software engineer in Seattle. And uh, another alum, Amanda Geis, who has a PhD in Molecular Biology from Princeton and is working at a research, as a research fellow at Boston Children's Hospital and Harvard Medical School. Um, and if, uh, before we introduce our competitors, just to say, uh, thank you all to the judges and the volunteers and all the alums for coming here. If we could have a round of applause for all the volunteers who make this event possible. But what we're really here is to meet our competitors this, uh, to this morning. 
Um, so in order to meet you all and in order to make sure that your mics are working correctly and the buzzer system is working correctly and that you uh, get recognized correctly by the science judge, Adam, sitting to my right, um, uh, we'll start over here on the far left-hand side. If you could uh, buzz in, wait to be recognized by Adam, uh, and then tell us your name, what grade you're in, and if you could name a scientist, living or dead, that inspires you. A3. I'm Wilson Ho, eighth grade. I'm Rosalind Franklin. A2. I'm Michael Zhao, eighth grade, and J2 Zo Wilson. A captain. I'm Jonathan Huang, eighth grade, and my favorite scientist is Pierre de Fermat. A1. I'm David Hu. I'm in eighth grade, and a scientist that inspires me is Tycho Brahe. B1. I'm Daniel. I'm. Is this on? Yes. Oh. I'm Daniel Sun. I'm in eighth grade, and my favorite scientist is Lawrence. B Captain. I'm Neil Chodhury. I'm in seventh grade, and my favorite scientist is Isaac Newton. B2. I'm Mahathi Manji Pudi. I'm in eighth grade, and my favorite scientist is Elizabeth Blackwell. B3. I'm David Lee. I'm in eighth grade, and my favorite scientist is Simon Newcomb. Thank you very much. If you could all please speak into your microphones when giving your answers during the match so we can all hear you, that'd be appreciated. Thank you. Thank you all, and uh, wonderful taste in scientists. Now, uh, this is uh, double elimination round eight. And what that means is Joaquin Miller is coming in with one loss. That means if Odal Middle School wins this round, wins double elimination eight, they will be the 2017 champions. If Joaquin Miller wins this round, then we will proceed to double elimination round nine, which will decide the champion. Um, all right, so we're about to get started, but before we do, we we'll just want to remind the audience that you've been fantastic, and every year the audience is fantastic, and just remind you all to make sure that everything is switched off, anything is stowed and stashed away, and that you be calm and quiet and respectful during the rounds. And I know that's hard, so I'd love to give you an opportunity at this point to get any clapping, foot stomping, hooping, hollering out of your system. Um, and join us now as we congratulate these two teams, the top two middle school teams in the country. Well done, both teams. That's great. All right, so yeah, just remind the audience, please, uh, quiet during the competition. Now, before we get started, teams, I know you've been through multiple rounds already. You're, you're old hands at this at this point. However, if you have any questions before we get started, feel free to ask. No? All right. Then we will begin. All right. This is middle school double elimination, round eight, and we'll begin with a toss-up question for both teams. Question one, math, short answer. On July 26, 2015, the International Space Station was evacuated due to the detection of an unidentified object approaching the ISS at 28,000 miles per hour. To the nearest integer, how many miles per second is this? A1. Seven. That is not correct. B3. Eight. Eight is correct. Bonus question, math, short answer. A right triangle with legs of length four and six is inscribed in a circle. To the nearest integer, what is the area of the circle? A what triangle? Right triangle? Right triangle. Thirteen pi. Right triangle. And integer. Yeah, it's thirteen. Forty. Yeah, forty or forty. 14? So 40? Yeah, 40. 40. No, the correct answer is 41. Toss up question two life science, short answer. In prokaryotic DNA replication, what enzyme is responsible for unwinding the double helix? A captain? Helicase. That is correct. Bonus question life science, short answer. Translation in eukaryotes always begins with what amino acid? Methionine. That is correct. 
Toss-up question three, energy short answer. What LED technology involves an electroluminescent layer that is composed of an organic, in, interrupt? B1. O-L-E-D. That is correct. Bonus question, energy, short answer. Brookhaven National Lab scientists used the RIC facility to study color confinement. What elementary particles are they studying via colliding protons? Quarks. Yes, we've covered the time. Quarks. One question, where is the score? Quarks. Okay, where is the score? Quarks. Well, that is correct. One, we have a question. Uh, Sorry, where, stop the clock, please. Uh, where is the score? Scores just playing on the screen. Can there. they see the score? Can see that. Can they? Do they have a screen? I can see. I can't see it. Oh, I can't read it. So scores on the TV screens. Yeah, they're over here on the side. I'm not sure if you can see those. Yeah, but but we'll we'll call them out at halftime if we are able to see them. Okay. okay. Uh, when we restart the clock. When we restart the clock, we'll be starting with a toss-up question for both teams. Yes. It'll be question number four. Question four, physical science, multiple choice. A sound with power output P watts has a level of 80 decibels a distance of three meters away. Which of the following best approximates the decibel level of a sound with power output 2p watts at the same distance? W, 83, x, 92, y, 121, z, 160. B1? W. W, 83 is correct. Bonus question, physical science, short answer. Consider a long pipe of length two meters that is closed at one end. Assuming the speed of sound to be 336 meters per second, what is the fundamental frequency in hertz of the pipe? Uh, the wavelength is four, so 336 divided by four. 336 divided by four? Pretty sure, yeah. It's 84. 84? Wait, 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 no. Okay. It's, it's, wait, it's yeah, I eight, divided by eight, divided by eight. Um, 42. 42. That is correct. Toss up question five, earth and space multiple choice. In which of the following locations could a geologist expect to find Precambrian sedimentary rocks? W, on the Hawaiian Islands, X, at the bottom of the Mariana Trench, Y, in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, Z, on the, on the Australian, con interrupt. A captain. Z. Z, Australian Continental Shield is correct. Bonus question, earth and space short answer. What geologic feature forms when sediment fills in a fracture that cross-cuts existing sedimentary strata? Dike. That is correct. Toss-up question six, math short answer. To the nearest integer, what is the length of the altitude to the hypotenuse in a right triangle with legs of length 5 and 12? A1. 5. 5 is correct. Bonus question, math, short answer. The identity n squared plus 2n plus 1 equals open parenthesis n plus 1 close parenthesis squared can be used to find Pythagorean triples. What Pythagorean triple with least number 19 is generated by this formula? That is correct. Toss-up question seven, Earth and space short answer. What is the term for the remnant electromagnetic radiation left over from the Big Bang? Interrupt. A captain. Cosmic background radiation. Not correct. Hmm? Not correct. No, it's not correct. Uh, that was an interrupt, so I'll read you the question. 14B, Earth and Space, short answer. What is the term for the remnant electromagnetic radiation left over from the Big Bang? B2. Black radiation. That is not correct. The correct answer is cosmic microwave background. Toss-up question eight, life science, short answer. Microfilaments are composed of what protein interrupt? A captain. Actin. Actin is correct. Bonus question, life science, short answer. Tobacco mosaic virus, or TMV, was the first virus to be isolated. What is the viral capsid shape of TMV? Is it the 
Because then it's just like, like, like the normal one. It's like a icosahedron polygon. Icosahedron. No, the correct answer is rod, rod shaped. Toss up nine, physical science, multiple choice. Consider a particle injected into a region with a constant magnetic field and zero electric field. The magnetic field is perpendicular to the particle's velocity. What type of trajectory does the particle interrupt? B1. Circular. W, circular is correct. Nice. Bonus question, physical science, short answer. Consider a spacecraft of length three meters that is moving at a speed of two C over three relative to an observer. In meters, what is the spacecraft's length in that observer's frame? Um, it's, it's moving really fast, so it's gonna be like short, right? So it's going to be three, no, root five. Three root five over No, just five. root five. Five seconds, root five. Yeah. The square root of five. That is correct. Toss up question 10, energy multiple choice. Which of the following elements conducts electricity in a compact fluorescent light? W, tungsten, X, argon, Y, silicon, Z, copper. B, captain. X. X, argon is correct. Yes. Bonus question, energy, short answer. In a pressurized heavy water reactor, heavy water is used as the moderator. What substance is used as the coolant? Um, wait, remember Vishnu said something like, Sodium? Is it? Should I just say sodium? Sodium. Sodium. No, the correct answer is that the coolant is also heavy water. Toss up 11, physical science, short answer. The frequency of a photon used to ionize an electron from the 1s orbital of a hydrogen orbital is f. In terms of f, what is the frequency of a photon required to ionize a 2p hydrogen electron? A captain. 2F. That is not correct. B captain. 4F. No, the correct answer was F over 4. Toss up question 12, life science short answer. What type of external symmetry does an armadillo interrupt? A captain. Bilateral. Bilateral is correct. Bonus question, life science short answer. During what stage of mitosis do the chromatids separate? Anaphase. Anaphase is correct. Toss up 13, math, short answer. What is 195 squared? B3? 390.25. That is not correct. A1? 38025. That is correct. Bonus question, math, short answer. What are the coordinates of the image of the point 2017 when it is reflected through the line y equals x minus 10. Minus 10, interesting. Okay, 27.30. No, the correct answer is 27.10. Toss up 14, energy short answer. Argonne National Lab scientists can use what local user facility for performing X-ray crystallography? B, Captain. Advanced photon source. That is correct. Oh. Bonus question, energy multiple choice. Which of the following <coughs> has not yet been obtained from microbial fuel cells? W, hydrogen, X, butane, Y, electricity, Z, methane. X. X, butane is the correct answer. And that is half time with the score standing at uh, Joaquin Miller 64, Odell Middle School 68. Nice. We'll take a brief break. Yes, it's. Uh, yeah, I have the countdown. Yeah, yeah. I can just barely. All right. Uh, I didn't want to talk too loudly during the round. Can you hear me a little better if I speak? 
Okay. Adam is going back. How are we going to do the visual bonuses? Do they not have screens? I didn't think so. There's no screens in the desk? Because that's what they used to have. That's what they used to have. Let me look one more time. Yeah. I'm, I'm not here. Can you say something? Hi. Can you repeat that? I, I'm, I can hear that you're talking, but that's it. Okay, I, I, yeah, okay. The first thing you said, I didn't understand what you said, but so I heard that you said you could hear I was talking, but you couldn't hear. If I, you know what, let me, all right, if I, I'm. I can hear you clear as a bell. So I have turned, I turned my microphone all the way up now. Does that help? I guess what we're going to have to do is, Stop you, we will. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, I'm I'm not able to make out what you're like, saying. I think now. I remembered once okay. in all of the times I've said it. Hopefully, we'll just have a smooth thing. Nice day. Um, I'm going to run backstage. You bet? No, it's okay. You want me to wait for you? I'm hoping yeah. down. Yeah. 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 So what's the... I'm talking can, can, you, can you hear me? All right, everyone, if we could return to our seats, please. All right, we are getting ready to get started with the second half of double elimination round eight. Um, before we begin, do we have any alternates to our teams? Do we have any questions from either team before we begin? If not, then I'll just ask the audience once again to continue being uh, respectful and quiet during this round. Um, the round is very close as you can see. It's Joaquin Miller 64, Odell Middle School 68. All right, best of luck to both teams. We will be beginning with uh, a toss-up question for both teams. It'll be question 15, which means there are 11 questions left in this round. All right, best of luck. Toss-up question 15, Earth and Space, Multiple Choice. The dark appearance of the fluids vented from black smokers on the seafloor is due to what substances? W, metal oxides, X, metal sulfides, Y, methane hydrates, Z, pyrogens. B2. X. X, metal sulfides is correct. 
Bonus question, Earth and Space, short answer. Black smokers and white smokers are two very different types of hydrothermal vents. Identify all of the following three statements that are true regarding black and white smokers. One, white smokers are white due to the presence of sulfates and silicates. Two, black smokers are usually hotter than white smokers. Three, white smoker vent fluid is generally more alkaline than that of black smokers. One and two. That's not correct. All three of them were correct. Were true. Toss of question 16. Life science, short answer. Schwann cells are responsible for producing what? Interrupt. A captain? Myelin. Myelin is correct. Bonus question, life science, short answer. The human body detects changes in blood carbon dioxide levels indirectly by monitoring the pH of what substance? Carbonic acid. No, the correct answer is cerebrospinal fluid. Toss up 17, earth and space, multiple choice. Most of the samples returned from the Mare Tranquillatus in, uh, excuse me, by Apollo 11 are what type of rock? W, interrupt. A2. Basalt. Z, basalt is correct. Bonus question, earth and space, short answer. What Martian surface feature is a canyon system that is five times as long and over four times as deep as the Grand Canyon? Valles Marineris is Utopia. Okay, sure. Valles Marineris. That is correct. Toss up question 18. Physical science short answer. What is the number of atoms that neighbor each atom in a face centered cubic unit cell? B. Captain. Six. That is not correct. A. Captain. Eight. No, the correct answer is 12. Toss up 19, energy, short answer. When water is electrolyzed, what fuel is formed? A captain? Hydrogen. Hydrogen is correct. Bonus question, energy, <clears throat> short answer. Sterile neutrinos, such as those attempted to be studied by the Daya Bay collaboration, are sterile because they are not affected by what fundamental force? Sterile, I'm guessing that's just like clean, it's kind of sterile. Okay, so it's gonna be like strong, strong, strong or weak? No, no, no. Uh, strong, strong. strong force. No, the correct answer is weak force. Toss up 20, math, short answer. How many flips of a coin are necessary to have at least a 98% probability of observing at least one head? B3. Six. Six is correct. Bonus question, math, short answer. What is the sum of the infinite geometric sequence with first term five and second term two? Agreed. Yes. Yeah, yeah. 25 over three. That is correct. Toss up 21, physical science, short answer. <clears throat> Consider a beam of light that is crossing from water into air. Identify all of the following three quantities that increase. One, speed. Two, wavelength. Three, frequency. B1. One. one. That is not correct. A1. One. one and three. No, the correct answer is one and two. <clears throat> Toss up 22, math, short answer. The legs of a right triangle are of lengths one and two. What is the sign of the smallest angle of, interrupt? B3. One over square root five. That, that is not correct. Uh, that's an interrupt, that's four points to man. I'll reread the question. Math, short answer, the legs of a right triangle are of lengths one and two. What is the sign of the smallest angle of the triangle? A1. Square root five out of five. That is correct. 
Bonus question, math, short answer. What is the sum of all positive integers less than 100 whose digits include at least one, one? At least one. Five seconds. 364. No, the correct answer is 594. <sighs> Toss up 23, energy multiple choice. Which of the following viruses causes severe hemorrhagic fever in humans and is currently being studied at Argonne National Lab? W, rhinovirus, X, Ebola virus, Y, papillomavirus, Z, interrupt. X. X, Ebola virus is correct. Bonus question, energy short answer. BICEP-3 is a Department of Energy experiment studying what epoch of the early universe? Epoch. BICEP-3. Bicep. Bicep uh, the second, the third second of the Big Bang. After the Big Bang. Oh, yeah, sure. Big Bang. Yeah. Is it what epoch? The Electro-Week? Uh, the Electro-Week. Electro-Week. No, it's the inflation. Toss-up 24, life science, short answer. When a human cell is infected with a virus, it will secrete what type of molecules in order to protect nearby cells? B2. Antibodies? That is not correct. A hey, captain? MHC class one. That is not correct. The correct answer is interferons. Toss-up 25, earth and space, short answer. NASA's Stardust mission and ESA's Rosetta mission have both demonstrated that comets may contain what simple amino acid? B2. Methionine. That is not correct. A captain. Glycine. Glycine is correct. Bonus question, earth and space, short answer. Rank the following three organic constituents of Saturn's atmosphere in decreasing order of abundance. One, Propane, two, methane, three, ethane. It's gonna be like methane. The lighter things are more common, right? So this is two, three, one. Two, three, one. Two, three, one is correct. We've reached the end of double elimination round eight, and since. <laughs> since since both Odal Middle School and Joaquin Miller Middle School have one loss each, we will proceed to double elimination round number nine. We will take just a two minute break and then we'll proceed with round nine. Oh. Yeah, let's, oh. go. let's go, guys. Just one more round.
whatever team. Everyone could please take your seats. Please take your seats. We'd like to continue the competition. Do this or something. Congratulations again to both teams. We now are going into DE round number nine. Um, this will determine the champion of the middle school 2017 Department of Energy National Science Bowl competition. Again, audience members, please be quiet during the match. Joaquin Miller, Oda Middle School, are you both ready to begin? Yes. Let's do a quick buzzer check again. Let's start on the left side or work away across, please. Okay, are both teams ready to begin? Yes. Best of luck. Without further ado, this is the finals, double elimination round number nine of the Middle School Science Bowl competition. Toss up number one is in math, multiple choice. For a triangle, what is the term for the point at which the three medians inter interrupt? A captain. Centroid. Is correct. Your bonus question in math is short answer. What is the Y coordinate of the center of the circle that contains the three points, one, four, 9, 4, and 10, negative 1. The y coordinate. Yeah, that's like 5, comma. No, it's like 5, comma something, right? Yeah. Right. 5 seconds. Go, go. 8. Sorry, it's 0 0.6. Toss of 2 is in Earth and Space, multiple choice. In which of the following locations would a deep focus earthquake be least likely to occur? W, Bolivia, X, Sumatra, Y, Portugal, Z, Taiwan. B2. W. Sorry, that's incorrect. A, Captain. Y. Portugal is correct. Your bonus question, Earth and Space, is short answer. Rank the following three layers of the Earth's interior by increasing average P wave velocity. One, mantle. Two, inner core. Three, outer core. Uh, I think it has to do solids, right? Yeah, they yeah. go. So, so the slow should be the inner outer core. Three, one, three, one, two. Three, one, two. Three, one, two. Yeah. Three, one, two. I'm sorry, it was actually three, two, one. Toss up number three is <coughs> in life science. Short answer. What is a term for angiosperms that have a single embryonic interrupt? B3. Monocot. Is correct. Your bonus in life science is short answer. The 2015 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine was awarded to Tu Yu Yu for the discovery of a novel therapeutic, artemisinin. What disease is artemisinin used to treat? It's kind of recent, so. What is it? What disease? Artemisinin. Yeah. Arthritis. Wait, um, wait, uh, what's that? Like Alzheimer's maybe? What? Alzheimer's maybe? Yeah. Okay. Five seconds. What? Is it Alzheimer's? Alzheimer's. Sorry, the correct answer is malaria. Oh. Toss-up number four is in physical science, multiple choice. Which of the following acids is the strongest acid? W, acetic. X, chloroacetic. Y, dichloroacetic. Z, trichloroacetic. B, Captain. Z. Is correct. Your bonus question in physical science is short answer. Rank the following three compounds in terms of increasing van der Waals B coefficient. One, sulfur dioxide. Two, helium. Three, argon. What's the uh, Wait, so that, that, I'm guessing that if it's bigger, it has a big, like, bigger van der Waals coefficient. So. One is probably the most. Helium, either, helium small. Either so one, two, wait, two, increasing or decreasing? Two, three, one, I think. Two, three, one, or two, Five one? Seconds. Two, three, one. Two, three, one. That is correct. Toss up five for both teams is an energy short answer. Department of Energy researchers are currently studying 2D monolayer circuits by printing a semiconductor onto germanium. Of what element are these semiconductors composed? B1. Silicon. Is incorrect. A captain. Indium. Sorry, it was actually carbon. Toss up number six, physical science short answer. According to Maxwell's equations, a time-varying electric field will also create what other type of time interrupt? B1. Magnetic field. Is correct. Your bonus question in physical science is multiple choice. 
Consider the magnetic field produced by an infinitely long current carrying wire. Which of the following best describes this field? W emanating radially outward from the wire, X pointing in the direction of the wire, Y circulating around the wire, Z helically winding around the wire. Y, Y. Y. Is correct. Toss up seven, math, short answer. What is 55 times 35? B3. One, eight. Sorry, it's incorrect. A1. One, nine, two, five. That is correct. Your math bonus question is short answer. For the dilation centered at one, two, with scale factor four, what are the coordinates of the image of the point five, three? Seventeen comma six. Is correct. Toss at number eight, energy short answer. Fluorescent lamps require special disposal protocols because they contain what heavy interrupt? A captain. Mercury. Is correct. And your bonus question is in energy, and it is short answer. What compound in the uranium fuel cycle is gaseous? Uh you right? This is like No no, that's a pellet. Yeah, it's not. Well actually. UO2. Sorry, it's uranium hexafluoride. Toss at number nine is in Earth and space. Short answer. A 0.1 solar mass protostar evolves along the Hayashi track. In what direction will the star's position on the HR diagram primarily move? B2. Right. Sorry, it's incorrect. A2. Left. Sorry, it was actually down. <laughs> Toss up number 10 is in life science, short answer. What vitamin is required as a component of NAD and an interrupt? A captain. Niacin. Is correct. Your bonus question in life science is short answer. What is the net ATP gain of a single molecule of glucose undergoing glycolysis? Two. I don't know. Two. It is two. Toss up 11, physical science, multiple choice. For an ideal gas, which of the following processes would not change the internal energy of the gas? W, reversible isothermal expansion. X, reversible adiabatic expansion. Y, irreversible, irreversible adiabatic expansion. Z, reversible isobaric expansion. B, Captain. X. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. A1. Y. Sorry, it was actually W, reversible isothermal expansion. Toss up 12, life science, short answer. Iodine deficiency most directly caught interrupt. A captain. Goiter. Sorry, it's incorrect. I'll repeat for team B. Toss up, life science, short answer. Iodine deficiency most directly causes problems with what human gland? B3. Thyroid. Is correct. Nice. Your bonus in life science is short answer. What enzymes charge tRNA molecules with amino acids? Enzyme. What do they charge? What enzymes charge them? Charge them. Oh, oh, phosphase. Phosphase? I think so. Sure. Okay. Phosphase. Sorry, it's actually the amino acyl tRNA synthetase. <laughs> Toss up 13 is in Earth and Space. Short answer. Identify all of the following four geologic dating techniques that are used to determine absolute age. One, uranium lead dating. Two, carbon-14 dating. Three, the law of superposition. Four, the law of original interrupt. B2. One and two. Is correct. Nice. Your bonus in Earth and space is short answer. Carbon-14 is commonly used to date organic material on the order of 50,000 years or younger. What type of decay does carbon-14 undergo, and what is the daughter isotope of its decay? Is it alpha? What's the daughter isotope? I thought it was like nitrogen. Wait, is it nitrogen? Wait, then that's beta, and it's nitrogen-14. Okay, what, what else could it be? I think it's beta, 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 or is alpha boron-10? Um, uh, it's beta decay, and it creates nitrogen-14. That is correct. Yes. Toss up 14 is in math, short answer. How many points of intersection do the graphs of the functions f of x equals x cubed and g of x equals x to the sixth have? Interrupt. B3. Four. 
That is incorrect. I'll repeat for team A. Toss up, math, short answer. How many points of intersection do the graphs of the functions f of x equals x cubed and g of x equals x to the sixth have? A1. Two. Is correct. Your bonus in math is short answer. What is the smallest possible number of sides in a regular polygon that has each interior angle measuring at least 167 degrees? Twenty-eight is correct. Toss of fifteen is an energy short answer. Department of Energy researchers are developing plants that make less lignin. These plants would be suitable for producing what fuel? B, Captain. Ethanol is correct. And your energy bonus question is multiple choice. A particular solar panel produces one thousand watts on Earth. Which of the following is closest to the number of watts an identical panel would produce on Mars? W, 1,000, X, 750, Y, 500, Z, 250. What's the distance? 1.5 AU. What's 1.5 squared 2.2? So it should be proportional to that. So it's going to be um, about half. About, about half. So why? So why? why? But, but it, might, it might be just going to be almost Y. Why? is correct. Okay. Uh, that is the half. We've gone through 15 questions. <laughs> Score at the half is Joaquin Miller, 58. Odo Middle School, 68. We'll take a two minute break. I'll, 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 I'll do a quick buzzer check because we're going to yep. I think we've lost the light. It's fine because it's going to be so we don't see it. It's true. It's fine. Yeah. Everyone could please take your seats. We'd like to resume the match. Please take your seats. Thank you very much. Do we have any substitutions at the half? Could you please test your buzzer, A3? Yeah. And while we're at it, let's test the rest of the buzzers as well, please. Thank you very much. Okay, we've gone through 15 questions in the first half, which means we have 10 questions to go. We have a great match going here. Do you guys have any questions? Well, then best of luck, let's wrap up with the second half of our final rounds of the middle school competition. Toss up 16 is in math, short answer. Consider the positive multiples of six that are less than 100. How many of these are also interrupt? B3. Eight. So it's incorrect, I'll repeat for team A, toss up math, short answer. 
Consider the positive multiples of six that are less than 100. How many of these are also multiples of eight? A1. Four. Is correct. Your bonus in math is short answer. Suppose four members are to be selected from a seven-member team to take a trip. The team contains one pair of siblings who must either both go on the trip or both not go on the trip. Subject to this restriction, how many different selections of four team members can be made for the trip? Fifteen. Is correct. Toss up 17 for both teams, physical science, short answer. Consider an ideal monatomic gas. What is the constant pressure heat capacity of this gas as a function of the ideal gas constant R? B, Captain. Square root of R. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. A, Captain. N, R, T over V. Sorry, it's five halves R. <laughs> Toss-up number 18 is an energy multiple choice. Which of the following types of nuclear reactor was the reactor at Three Mile Island? W, fast neutron. X, liquid metal. Y, pressurized water. Z, thorium. A, Captain. W. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. B, Captain. Y. Y is correct. Your bonus question is an energy, and it is short answer. What crop is the primary biodiesel feedstock in the United States? Soybean. Oh, what crop? Soybean. Is correct. Toss up 19 is in life science, short answer. The Pacific U is the original source of what important cancer treatment drug? A captain. Quinone. Sorry, that's incorrect. B captain. Uh, histamine. No, the correct answer is Taxol. Toss up 20 is in Earth and Space, short answer. Identify all the following three processes that act as sinks for the oxygen in Earth's atmosphere. One, photosynthesis. Two, decomposition of dead organisms. Three, forest fires. B2. All. Sorry, that's incorrect. A2. One only. Sorry, it was actually two and three. Toss up 21 is in physical science, short answer. What is the oxidation number of the iron atom in an iron pyrite molecule? A, Captain. Two plus. Is correct. Your bonus question in physical science is short answer. Identify all of the following three statements that are true concerning the shapes of orbitals. One, 3D orbitals have one radial node. Two, all P orbitals have exactly one node. Three, sigma orbitals have a node on the internuclear axis. Three is right. Right. Two is not correct. Two is not correct. Okay. How about one? Three, I think three, three. I think three is right. Uh, three D orbitals have one radial node. I think that's just okay. 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 Three only. Sorry, it was actually none of them. Toss at number twenty-two for both teams. Earth and space. Multiple choice. The Pioneer 10 and 11 probes were notable because they were the first to accomplish which of the following? W, they made the first comprehensive measurements of the solar wind. X, they took the first measurements of the density of meteorites. Y, they created the first space-based solar weather network. Z, they were the first to achieve escape velocity from our solar system. B2. Y. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. A, Captain. Z. Z is correct. Your bonus will be in Earth and space. Short answer. The Pioneer spacecrafts each contained a plaque meant to provide directions to our solar system should intelligent life find them. The relative position of our solar system was described using 14 of what celestial object? 14 of what? Stars? This is making my... I'm guessing it's stars. Stars. Sorry, it was actually pulsars. Toss up 23 is in math, short answer. The length of each side of the hexagon is decreased by 35% to obtain a similar hexagon. To the nearest whole number, by what percentage does the area de interrupt? A1. 58. Is correct. And your math bonus is short answer. When 6 raised to the 8th power is expressed in scientific notation, what is the power of 10? 6 raised to the 8th in sign note. 6. 6. Let, let finish, finish math. Yeah, I, I, I agree. 
Six. Is correct. Toss up 24 is in life science. Short answer. The nephron is the functional unit of what interrupt? A captain. Kidney. Is correct. Your bonus in life science is short answer. What is the functional unit of the human lung requiring surfactants to maintain their shape? Oh, avioli. No, avioli. Avioli. That is correct. Toss up 25, energy, short answer. In 2014, Fermilab and CERN released a joint press release announcing a new precise mass of the heaviest known quark. What is the name of this quark? A captain. Top quark. Is correct. Your bonus in energy is short answer. In nuclear fuel rods, a desirable quality in the cladding is a low neutron absorption cross section. Of what metal is this cladding primarily composed? Wasn't it like graphite? Metal is metal. Isn't it? Okay, graphite. It's usually just a moderator for metal. Oh, H. Uh, boron. Boron. Sorry, it's actually zirconium. And that is the end of the match. <laughs> Final score, Joaquin Miller Middle School, 116. Odell Middle School, 82. Let's congratulate both teams, and in particular, our champions, Joaquin Miller Middle School.